Hi guys, one of my subscribers asked if I could show how to f hook up the uh, various components in a wind turbine system. So I thought I would go through a couple of things and um, to show you how to hook them up. It's quite simple. All right, so this is the alternator, and we would call it a generator if it generated DC, but we, we're going to call it an alternator because it's uh, moving the electrons back and forth. And to create DC, we use a rectifier. And this has basically the electronic equivalent of one-way valves. So as the electrons flow back and forth, um, it's converted into DC electric. Batteries are direct current, DC. So to get alternating current to charge a DC battery, we have to go through a rectifier. Um, this light bulb is going to re um, represent a load. So when we talk about a load on the alternator, it could be charging a battery or it could be through a resistive load like a heating element or um, an incandescent light bulb or it could be you know an appliance in your house. Alright so what's in an alternator? Um, this is the magnet plate and there are 18 of these very powerful magnets and they're opposite poles north south north south north south and in the uh, stator there are nine coils and each of the coils obviously has two sides so there are um, 18 legs of the coils and we're going to alternately flux them with the uh, magnetic flux of these these magnets and because there's 18 if we turn this disk at 1 rpm or so one time per second we will get 18 hertz 18 cycles per second if we turn this at 200 rpm we will get 60 hertz which is the kind of electricity you have in your house okay so here is a little demonstration of what alternating current might look like the green beads are electrons our yellow paper is say a wire and as the magnetic field crosses those coils we're just sending electrons back and forth they're not going anywhere they're just going back and forth if we place a load in the middle of this wire all those electrons are going to get squeezed down and do work like heat up a wire heat up a incandescent light bulb filament but to uh, do any kind of DC work, what we have to do is put a one-way valve on this. So DC would be like this. They can come out, and they go back, and they come out. Okay, that's DC. How do we get DC? It's with these rectifiers. This is our alternator, and I'm going to use yellow wires on the AC just to represent that it's not positive or negative. Typically, you're going to use a black and a red wire for positive and negative. So on the bottom of this single phase alternator, we just have two outputs, and that'll give us our AC. So we're hooked up, and at this point, we're not hooked up to anything else, and the alternator will just free spin. There's no load on it, because the uh, electrons are just going back and forth. They're not going anywhere. They're not going through any kind of load. To hook up a rectifier, we're going to find, um, this is marked AC, so that's AC, we're going to hook there, we're going to hook there. Now we're into our rectifier and we've got, um, this is our positive, if you can see that, and that's going to be our negative. So now we're going to create DC electric. Alright, so here's our 12 volt battery, and I've marked it positive, negative. So we can hook this up, and it doesn't hurt anything because that's a one-way valve. We can go ahead and just hook that up. Nothing's happening right now. But if we turn this alternator, we're going to charge that battery. So we're charging it with spiky AC, so the spikes will exceed battery voltage and, and charge. The faster we turn this, the more those spikes exceed 12 volts, and we'll charge it harder. So what can we do now? Let's hook up our light bulb. So we're running the light bulb. Now what we do is we just simply charge the battery with the wind turbine. And so you're going to run appliances, um, something like that LJL circuit I make to light your light bulbs off 12 volt DC. 
This alternator actually is designed for 24, so I'm kind of turning it slow to charge 12. So that's basically how you hook up a wind turbine. Again, alternator, rectifier, a battery, and a load. Okay, what I'm going to do now is um, turn this alternator at 60 RPM, so basically one time per second. We're going to go through the regular rectifier, converting the alternating current to DC. We're going to look at the uh, voltage on this uh, voltmeter and see what we get, okay? So we're getting about 8 volts. The, um, the little boost circuit, and that that little piece there that little piece there is a 4 amp um, rectifier. This one's good for 25 amps. Um, but this is this is fine for some of my smaller turbines. Um, so that's the same rectifier. There's positive, negative, AC, AC, and then you just put um, these diodes and these two capacitors in here. And basically, what we're going to do is boost the voltage. So I'm going to attempt to turn this at 60 RPM again. Okay, that's approximately the same speed as I was going last time. So you can see the voltage is a lot higher now. What does all that mean? Okay, it means the wind turbine could start outputting to the battery at a much lower RPM. It's not making more power. Uh, it's just sometimes the wind is really low and you're not getting any charging at all. What this little circuit does is would allow a couple of watts to go into the battery at very low wind speed. Once the wind speed kicks up to, let's say, you know, 10 watts, it's going to bypass the circuit and go right through the rectifier. I'm going to do a little visual representation. Oh, by the way, if you still see voltage here, it's because these capacitors are storing some voltage. And that's just the nature of the capacitors. We could short it out and clear that out. Okay, so this is a 3 watt LED bulb. I'm going to turn this alternator really slow. We're going through the voltage doubler. Actually, it more than doubles the voltage. You can see that little circuit is causing this bulb to light nice at about 60 RPM. It's a 3 watt bulb. Let's see if we can light that bulb at 60 RPM with the other rectifier. Okay, we have the standard rectifier on there. I'm going to turn the alternator. Nothing yet. There we go. I have to go just a little bit faster. So we're getting three watts here. You know, if I go faster, you can see that that bulb gets bright. So all this, all this is showing is that we can start to light that bulb at a lower RPM um, with the uh, the little boost system. So that might come in handy. This kind of alternator and wind turbine. Um, tends to race up to whatever speed it needs to to start to output to load. So, I mean, this would take very little wind to get to this point, and that's about 2-3 watts right there. So if you've got a, a wind turbine that needs a boost system, I think this is a clever little circuit. So anyway, I hope this little tutorial helps, and uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. I uh, went past the 2500 mark, which is kind of fun, nice. Nice, uh, nice little uh, milestone. Anyway, thanks so much.